In this video, I will show you how to use Bitcoin's testnet within Sparrow Wallet. Before we start, what actually is Bitcoin's testnet? Bitcoin's testnet is another version of Bitcoin's blockchain that is used for testing purposes. It works just like Bitcoin's main chain, but the native token TBTC is worthless. This allows you to get some testing coins for free and it allows you to burn fees without losing any real money. So why would non-developers like myself or you want to use testnet? And the answer is to get used to using Bitcoin without risking any. Bitcoin affords you the right to true self-sovereign ownership of your wealth. And that comes with ultimate responsibility and accountability. If you mess things up, your wealth can disappear. So playing around with Bitcoin's testnet is a great way to kind of get a feel of how everything works. So let's head over to Spire Wallet and get started. The first thing you wanna do is obviously open Spire Wallet. So here I have Spire Wallet open and ready to go. Now to start the testnet mode of Spire Wallet, we want to go to tools at the top left of our screen, then click restart in testnet. Now Spire is going to restart in the testnet version of Sparrow. Now from this point forward, everything you do will work as usual you'll just be in the testnet version of Sparrow. So like normal, to create a new wallet, what we wanna do is go File, then click New Wallet. Give that wallet a name, so let's say Testnet Wallet, and then click on Create Wallet. Now we have a few options here. What we wanna do is create a new wallet with a new seed. So I'm going to click New or Imported Software Wallet. Then I'm going to change this to 12 words and then click Generate New. And now I'm quickly going to write down my recovery phrase. I've gone ahead and written down my recovery phrase. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that the coins in this wallet will have no value, so it doesn't really matter if you screenshot this or keep it in your password manager because the coins have no value. No one's going to try and hack you, and if they do, they're gonna get something that's worthless. Now, obviously, with your real Bitcoin stack and your real wallet, you don't want to put this online. We're just doing that for this testnet version. So I'm going to click confirm backup and then click re-enter words. And I'm going to re-enter my 12 words. All right, my 12 words are in. I click create key store and then import key store. And now my wallet is ready to go. All I do is click apply. It's gonna ask me if I wanna set a password. Again, this is just testnet. So I'm going to click no password. And now my testnet wallet is ready to go. Notice that in the derivation path, we've got 84 and then we've got a one here. Now this is different than a normal wallet. This one specifies that we are in testnet. And if we go to addresses, we'll see the addresses also look a bit different. They start with TB1Q. Now what we want to do is actually fund our testnet wallet with some Bitcoin. So what we would do is click receive and then we would copy this address and send some Bitcoin here. Now, how do we get testnet Bitcoin? And the answer is with testnet faucets. So what you would need to do is go into Firefox or any browser of your choice. Here I am in Firefox. What I'm going to do is search Bitcoin testnet faucet and search that. And here are a few options that I've opened previously. So what you would do is open this link in a new tab you would give them your address and they would send you out some testnet Bitcoin. What I'm going to do is open Sparrow, copy my Bitcoin address, then go back to Firefox and I need to confirm I'm a human. So I click I am a human, quickly fill in this capture. Now I need to insert my Bitcoin address in this field here. So I paste that in and then I click send testnet Bitcoin. And here it says success, we have sent 7,540 sats uh, in TBT, TBTC to this address. And here's the transaction ID. So if we open our testnet wallet and then go to addresses, we'll see we've got 7,540 sats sitting in this address and in UTXOs, here we can see the sats. One tip I have for you is go back to this website and actually save the, the URL then go back into your Sparrow and under addresses, label the address with the URL where the Bitcoin is has come from so that in future you can see which testnet faucets are reliable. 
Now you may want to use a few faucets to get sats from a few sources because they don't send much. So go ahead and try out a few of these different options. I will leave a few options on my website, ones that I have used in the past and ones that have worked for me. Now I'm going to close Firefox and back to Sparrow Wallet. Now I'm going to send a bit more Bitcoin to this wallet. I have another testnet wallet that has a few more sats in there. So let me go ahead and fund this wallet with some more Satoshis. All right, I have sent some more sats to this wallet of mine. And here under the addresses tab, we can see this address has 158,000 sats sitting in it. And if I go to my UTXOs, we now have two UTXOs and I have over 160K sats here. Now notice that Sparrow Wallet does display a value. Keep in mind these coins are worthless. This is just the Bitcoin, the real Bitcoin value, but these coins don't actually trade for a price. Now you have a funded testnet Bitcoin wallet and you can kind of do whatever you want with this. You can experiment, you can start sending to other addresses, start receiving funds and you can get a feel of how Bitcoin really works. What I'm going to do now is tell you a few things you should try do with your testnet wallet. Firstly, send some Bitcoin to a new address. So here in my addresses, I'm going to get a new address, copy that, then go to my UTXOs tab or let's rather go to the send tab, paste that address in and say test spend. I'm going to send the whole balance and click create, sign, sign and broadcast. Now we've created a new transaction and back in my testnet wallet, we'll see we'll now have one UTXO of 166,000 sats. And if we go to transactions, we have received Bitcoin and we've also sent Bitcoin now. Another thing you should do with your testnet wallet is actually delete and recover it. So to do this, let's close our wallet here, then go file, open wallet. And now we're going to go ahead and actually delete this wallet file. I'm going to move it to trash and now close this. Now this wallet file is off my computer. We have to recover it from our seed phrase. I have my seed phrase written down over here. So I'm going to click file, new wallet. Then we're going to say test net wallet and click create wallet. Now we need to go to new or imported software wallet, select 12 words. And now rather than generating a new phrase, I'm going to insert my recovery phrase into the boxes over here. So let's go ahead and do that. I have inserted all 12 words. I'm going to click create key store, import key store, and then click apply. I'm not going to set a password because this is testnet. And now if we go to our UTXOs tab, we'll see here is my balance. I have successfully recovered the coins sitting in this wallet. This is a super important concept for new Bitcoiners to understand that this recovery phrase that you write down accesses your funds. That's why it's so important to have a copy and to store it somewhere private because if somebody else has it, they have your coins. It's also important to understand that I can recover this phrase into a different wallet and see my balance. Sparrow is just a way to interact with the blockchain. A different wallet like Blue Wallet is another way to interact with the blockchain. So if I put these words in that wallet in the testnet version, I will see my Bitcoin. Now there's a whole bunch of things you can do with this testnet wallet. It's up to you to decide what you wish to do, what you wish to experiment with. What I suggest is that you go ahead and watch my video on UTXO management. That video covers a lot about how Bitcoin works, how Bitcoin UTXOs work and how to manage your UTXOs in case we see a high fee environment. That video is packed with information. So I suggest you go ahead and watch that. And I do everything in testnet. And that is the end of this video, how to use Bitcoin's testnet within Sparrow Wallet. If you find this valuable, liking and subscribing is free. And you can also send a tip to the address or link below. Cheers, everyone.